We begin our broadcast tonight with good news in the fight against Ebola. It appears that scientists are, are a step closer to finding the first effective treatment for the deadly virus after two potential drugs showed encouraging survival results in a clinical trial in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Here's Nathan Frandino with the details. Hope may be on the horizon for those fighting the deadly Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. This after scientists with the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases announced Monday that two potential drugs showed a survival rate of as much as 90 percent in a clinical trial. The two experimental drugs were developed with antibodies harvested from survivors of the Ebola infection. Authorities say they'll now offer the treatments to all patients in the DRC. The trial began last November and has been conducted in four treatment centers across the country, with some 681 patients enrolled. The promising results come amid the second largest Ebola outbreak in history. At least 1,800 people have died since it began spreading in eastern Congo last August. From 2013 to 2016, more than 11,300 people were killed in West Africa in the world's largest ever Ebola outbreak. Officials said the trial's positive findings were encouraging, but not enough to stop the epidemic for good. Nathan Frondino of Reuters with that report. Now, a mother and her son are being discharged from a Congo Ebola treatment center in Goma, North Kivu, after 29 days of treatment at the facility, raising hopes of a breakthrough to complete a cure of the virus. Now, doctors pronounce the two completely healed, a step that gives courage to the 87 million people in Congo and neighboring countries that are living in fear of being infected. Esperance Nabintu and her two-year son Fataki walked home Tuesday morning after a brief function outside the treatment facility in Goma. Um, Nabintu and her son contracted Ebola from her husband who died a month ago of the virus in Ituri. I feel very good and my son is also well. My message to everyone is that Ebola is real. People should seek doctor's attention as quickly as possible when they feel unwell. <laughs> 